Within our ICS, regulatory responsibilities are governed by the Standards and Regulation Board, the SRB. The focus of the board is to uphold the highest professional standards across the profession for the public good. Part of that responsibility is to respond and adapt to change, applying an independent public interest perspective. An important issue before the board last year was the need to review the regulation of real estate investment valuations to ensure robust practice and sustain confident markets for the benefit of everyone. To lead the review, we appointed Peter Pereira Gray, Chief Executive of the Wellcome Trust's Investment Division. And following consultation with a wide variety of stakeholders and a public call for evidence, he has now submitted a number of significant recommendations which the Board has considered. The review has responded to structural market shifts in occupier and investor demand for real estate, in part accelerated by the impact of the pandemic. With a significant amount of the world's wealth held in land and property, the expertise of our ICS regulated valuers underpins financial reporting and decision making concerning assets of significant value. To ensure that these valuations appropriately respond to the pace and scale of the change we face, we ask that the review deliver evidence-based recommendations addressing four important areas of valuation practice. Valuation methodology, property risk analysis, independence and objectivity, and measuring market confidence in valuer performance. I'm pleased to say that the SRB has accepted all of the recommendations of the review and will now need to consider how to take them forward. I would like to thank Peter Pereira Gray for his extensive work leading this important review and also to thank the expert working group that supported him. I also want to put on record our appreciation for the many individual contributions a good number received to the public call for evidence. There are clearly many people with an interest in the valuations of real estate investment portfolios, as well as the valuers themselves, their clients and others who act on the reports they produce. We will continue to involve all those interested as we take forward the next phase of this work to shape and future fit practices and to ensure valuation services remain robust, relevant and trusted. <laughs>